riches in niches. You sorry sons of- <gasps> Tyler, you can't say that! Just kidding. That would have been the first time I would ever cussed on this blog. Vlog, sorry. So many people try to be all things to all people and they end up being nothing to no one. Getting as narrowly focused on a niche as you can, like that's been our success in insurance is we're extremely, extremely narrow in the niche of people that we serve. When you go narrow in your niche, and, and I'm talking about crazy narrow, it seems counterintuitive, right? Like, hey, I wanna go reach a ton of people, I wanna go make a ton of sales, like I need to have a big audience, a big potential market, a big target market, a big um, uh, group that I can uh, sell to. That's how I'm gonna make the most money. That's how I'm gonna make the most sales. No, it's not. The more narrow that you get, the more it gives you the ability to go all in on that niche and build all your systems around serving those individuals. Now, I wanna be a, a part of a place that I would wanna be a part of, you know, like have a gym that I would wanna feel like yeah. it's my culture. And so we're just really just niching our focus between like the 25 to 35 year old market, the people who care about working out, people who care about going out, who care about fashion, who care yeah. about music and that. And really like, if you don't like it, it's cool. Yeah. There's any time yeah, fitness yeah. down the road. And I'll tell sure. people other gyms like, yeah. and I tell them straight up, I'm like, look, we got beer on tap here. Yep. We got, you know, the, the music's uncut and it's raw. So if that like offends you, wear headphones or don't come here. Many of you have probably read the book Good to Great, Jim Collins. That's great. Uh, which is a great book, but <laughs> yeah. it's, it's yeah, it works great. Good to great. Um, but he kind of developed that idea a little further in that book. And so he talks about how organizations are more likely to succeed if they focus on one thing focus. and do that one thing well. By doing so, they can beat their competitors and become truly great businesses. That's incredible. That is exactly what you guys have done with yeah. our within our business. Every single thing that you do is so calculated and so well thought out. Number one, it's the ultimate form of respect because you are giving that person exactly what they want, whether they know it or not, because you know them better than they know themselves. But number two, it's the only way to truly master the sales process. And you said the word niche, and that's what I was thinking. It's, it's no different than any other business with a niche. Like what we say all the time is if you try to be all things to all people, you end up being nothing to no one. And that's the, what the most of these gyms do. And as funny as you were talking, I was thinking the only gyms that you typically see that are doing anything to differentiate themselves in the marketplace are the the Soul Cycles, the Berry Boot Camps, yeah. like the like the the different ones that are very focused on one aspect of working out, yep. not a full gym where you can do a little bit of everything. Yep. When you can become that level of an expert because you've gone that narrow and all in on that one focus, uh, then you own it. Like you can own it, and that's what we've done with our system. Is we have absolutely flat out owned. The market that we serve if you can just get one solution one product and just become the very best person that's at the that way to do one it. product and become the expert in that field um, then that's how you open up doors and become synonymous with that pro like yeah. that whole industry they're like oh you know about widgets oh you need to talk to, to joseph because he's the widget he's, master he's that's that's all he does yeah that's all he um, does which is powerful